Hi again class, today I'm going to show you how to set up your project folder. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up Autodesk Inventor and then after you open up Autodesk Inventor this screen will appear then you go to projects click on projects and you'll notice that the default is actually selected and what the project is is it's a way of organizing your folders and files so that you can find them easily and so you can work quickly now let's see what the default project folder actually looks like in your Windows file so go ahead and click on file explorer or open up any uh, file and then look down the line look for documents along the browser and then find inventor double click on inventor and you'll notice that your IPJ uh, file is right there the IPJ file actually helps to navigate to different parts uh, when you create your assembly and then you have your content center files are right there as well so these are the default file system but we won't be using that we're going to be creating our own but keep this window open because I want to show you what happens as we create our file system so the first thing you need to do is click on new and then we're going to use a new single user project uh, Autodesk Inventor allows multiple users to work on the same project but we're not going to do that today we're just building the Clawbot in order to introduce you to uh, this system so name your project I'm going to name the project Clawbot because that is what we are building so this is our Clawbot project I'm going to click on finish uh, the project path you enter doesn't exist. Should you create it? Yes, we're going to create that project file path so that we can see it in our folder here. I'm going to click on OK. Now when I open up my file there, you can see the Clawbot project file is placed in the inventor file, which is in documents. So if I double click on Clawbot, now you have that IPJ file and then you have the older versions that are created so it actually stores the older versions for you alright and then we are going to click on done because we have created our files now in the next video I'm going to show you how to place unzip the files and place them into your project folder so I'll see you in the next video